Hello, and welcome to another First Impression video. I'm Drew Wilson from FreezeNet. Today we're going to be playing the 2010 PlayStation 3 game, Blur. So, I've got 10 minutes on the clock. Let's give this game a try. So, one of the things I found out about with this game is the fact that it was kind of one of those cult classics or something like that, and... So far, um, I've actually had pretty good luck with these those kinds of games so far. Um, Split Second was the other one that was released on the PlayStation 3 that had that kind of cult classic status. And so I thought, you know what? I wouldn't mind giving this one a try. So here I am, and... Uh, Almost has a Mario Kart feel to it, actually. Yeah, you have an idea of what you're going to get, but... Uh, that's uh, it's a... You can, almost get, you can almost see the inspiration from Mario Kart already. <laughs> So, only of course there's a lot more opponents so far. Uh, oh, there's an opponent behind me, that's why. Alright, let's go for a boost. There we go. So that puts us in second. Yeah, so the, apparently there is damage involved in this game, too. So, something I'll have to keep in mind. There we go. Actually, you know what? I wouldn't say... I'm just thinking... This, this, this Mario Kart isn't the only one that does that, and uh, Wipeout is actually another one that does this. Where it has the whole um, different weapons and that sort of thing. So, yeah, that's like, I guess it's another one that this is kind of reminding me of because I thought I was just thinking that it's not the only one actually. sure what this is. Ah, I see. As I hit my own ones. Awesome. <laughs> oh, I see the, um, that, uh, the, the uh, lifespan is actually on the top. Alright. Third place. Considering I'm just getting started, that's not bad. Yeah. Uh, I know it's not available because PlayStation 3 is not really supported anymore. I'm going to try retrying that just to see if I can do a little bit better. Yeah, it's a pretty basic race so far. So maybe I can do something about this. And you start at speed too. That was another thing I noticed with this game is that you do start like at speed. Yeah, I wonder. I'm not seeing anything that's as I miss stuff. <laughs> that's okay. Let's see if I can get around you. There we go. Wow, a million opponents and it misses, and misses them all. Okay. Oh, I just denied it. Someone got to it before I did. Oh, well. Ah. Uh, there we go. Interesting lighting effects. There's actually a lot of effects so far in this one. Yeah. 
Let's see if I can get that. There we go. <laughs> Just kind of guide them to the right spot, which is a mine. <laughs> Yeah, I think the track style so far it seems to have like a bit of a bit of, bit of a uh, motor storm feel to it in a way, not necessarily perfectly by any means, but I I kind of it's kind of reminding me a little bit of it too because of uh, how old the like the plants showing up in the uh, race like on the track that sort of thing. Um, uh, I was hoping I would get that. Oh well, let's just not tailgate the guy with the mine. Alright. Let's go for a speed boost. Nothing I could have done. That's okay. Alright. Oh, I can't believe I just missed that. Well, I might find out what it's like to actually blow up, too, in the process, so who knows. Alright, let's get that instead, then. There we go. <laughs> First place. Cool. Yes, I know. Next, continue. So apparently there's two mechanics. There's fans, which apparently unlocks cars and lights. And if you get the top three, you get at least three lights. And since I got first, you can tell I got five lights. So. Yeah, so that's a, that's apparently a thing as well in this game, is that you're in different things. Um, Alright, let's try this one. <laughs> Only after the second, first race that you actually get that. I figured that was a mine. <laughs> this is very useful when you're in the front. Let's take a look at barge. Barge is a close range attack that will shove cars out of your way. This is a bolt. Bolt has three high velocity rounds. Yeah, the more I play this, the more it feels more like a wipeout game in terms of the system. Not necessarily the way that vehicles drive, but the more these things, the weapons and shields and that sort of thing, definitely has a wipeout feel to it. Yeah, I ran into a bunch of those in the first race. A little weird that they introduced this tutorial on the second race when that's actually kind of needed to win, but hey, each their own, I guess. <laughs> Actually, eh. I don't know what the difficulty means necessarily, so I went with the first first car which I used before. We'll see what happens. Interesting. It's so far it's proving to be an interesting game for sure. Um, having a lot of different statistics. It's gonna take me a bit of getting, getting a bit of getting used to, obviously, with that. But um, interesting mechanics so far, for sure. So, yeah. There's also alternate routes. I like games that have the alternate route system because it kind of makes the game a little bit more interesting as opposed to just the standard single route thinking going on. It can be kind of bland after a while. 
but in this game, there we go. Apparently that's a shunt. <laughs> so good to know. Um, hey, I'm being attacked. All right, so let's put a mine next to a mine and kind of build a wall. <laughs> It's an interesting tactic is to line up mines with next to each other to make it harder to get around for opponents. There we go. And Yeah. Three for three ain't bad on that. And believe it or not, that is actually it for the first impression video. Um I obviously didn't know anything about this game until I started playing this one. And uh so far, it's definitely proving to be interesting. Um, the uh, different like weapons system, that sort of thing. It's uh, it kind of reminds it does remind me a lot of um, the Wipeout series. So I think that's gonna be interesting to see how that plays, considering like the original Wipeout series has a very different feel to it in terms of controls. So um, I think that's gonna prove to be uh, interesting to see how that plays out, and. Uh, I'm not sure how the fans and light system is going to work. It seems fairly straightforward. I um, guess I'm going to have to find out how that plays out in the long run uh, to find out if it was a really good idea or not. Um, yeah, and it has like the tracks at least have like sort of like that um, motor storm type of feel where it's not like perfect concrete, that sort of thing. Like it ha you could see the plants growing through the concrete and abandoned raceways that sort of thing so um that's also another interesting one to kind of consider okay does that add to the gameplay does it not I'll, i guess i'll find out in the long run so uh yeah there's i just want to i'm curious to hear from you have you heard of this game blur before is it and for those of you who have played it was this a really good game i've heard that people who have played it I had a really good experience with it so uh, just wanted to see if i can confirm that uh, ha have you enjoyed this game or not um yeah let, let me know in the comments below and uh, for those of you who haven't played that does this look like kind of an interesting game to play something that might be something to try and check out in the future at some point um or is it like is it too arcadey for you let us know in the comments below what you thought of this uh, game so far um yeah, it definitely got to an interesting start. Um, just trying to figure everything out, of course. Um, so, um, I guess that's it for the content. And if you want to, uh, so if you want to support us, uh, there's plenty of ways you can do that. You can drop us a like and let us know, hey, you're doing a great job. Keep up the good work. And uh, for the for those who want to kind of help us out a little bit further, you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel and. Uh, you can optionally turn on notifications, get real-time updates. It's the fastest way you can find out when we've uploaded something new. So, uh, yeah, that's a great way to keep tabs on what we're up to. And if you don't want to turn on notifications, that's fine, too, because the subscription does help us out, too. So, yeah, two ways you can support us. Uh, if you want to find out more about us and to support us in another way, that's, uh, you can check out the, our website at freezenet.ca. And uh, that game, or that uh, website has all our music reviews, video game reviews, and we have a whole bunch of tech news, digital rights news, privacy news, that sort of thing. Lots of stuff going on in the tech world, that's for sure. So something to keep an, keep your eye on if you want to find out what's happening in these those, those worlds these days. And uh, we also have a full-fledged wiki, and you can check out new, uh, m new music that you may not have otherwise heard of. We're constantly expanding that wiki these days, for sure, and uh, lots and lots of hours worth of music uh, you can explore you may not have otherwise heard of before, so definitely worth checking out. You can also subscribe to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash freezenet, and that will more directly support us. You can get inside information. You can also get podcasts ahead of time and a whole lot more but if that's not your thing you can also try coffee.com slash freezenet and you can utilize that one-time tip jar to help us out that way as well and uh, we'll make sure every dollar counts and goes towards uh freezenet operations this youtube channel this uh the website the podcast everything freezenet and we'll make sure every dollar counts so i guess that is all for now and until next time keep it cool